for this fight, I'm just going to focus on the second phase because the first part is basically the same but easier. Start the fight by moving just a tad to the left of where you spawn so that the tentacle crashes down through the middle of the stage. Then run to the left side and scavenge ammo while you have an opening. Wait for the tentacle to strike again before continuing to scavenge for ammo. After 3 strikes, the tentacle attack will end. Try not to waste all of your sprint meter right away because you'll need it in a bit to dodge Stefano. It's a really good idea to just use the ammo the game provides you with during this fight so you don't waste any of your own. Once you're done scavenging, head towards the front of the arena to get the best view of the boss as he warps around. When Stefano chases you with his warp, try to circle around him to bait him to attack and miss. After he swings, shoot him. Keep in mind that he'll always swing twice during this attack. When he says no sense in running, shoot him repeatedly with your pistol and don't worry about his attack. His camera will only stun you for a second and create some mines that you can easily avoid. When he warps around you but isn't chasing you, he's about to throw his dagger at you. He'll always say bleed for me along with this attack. The dagger can be easily avoided by strafing, just don't strafe while you're aiming down the sights or you'll be too slow and get hit. As soon as he says Philistine, sprint away immediately, preferably at a sharp angle away from his path. He'll use that same charging attack when he says you're going to pay for that, so start sprinting right away when you hear the audio cue. Keep in mind that there's plenty of time to get a pistol shot off after he throws his dagger. Give me your blood is the audio cue for his stalking warp attack so just run in a circle to dodge it before shooting him. After he says this, he's about to do his tentacle attack again so get behind cover and start scavenging for ammo while he strikes three times with it. For these attacks, I decided to just wait for him to use a close-up attack since I ran out of pistol ammo and didn't want to waste shots on him. If you run low on ammo, it's always a good idea to just scavenge some more rather than wasting expensive shots. Okay, and that's it for the boss. Thanks for watching and see you next time.